Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about similarities and differences between constructors and destructors. Before starting, you can note these information for your study purposes. Now, first I am going to discuss about similarities between constructor and destructor. So, here, here total 5 points are written. First point says both are spatial member functions in a class. Second point says both are called automatically, whereas we have to call normal member functions. So in case of constructor and destructor, both are automatically called uh, member functions we have to call explicitly. Third point says both have same name as their class. So you can easily recognize in a class that uh, which is constructor and which is destructor because both have same name as uh, name of the class. Uh, point number four, both must be defined in public part of the class. So you have to define constructor as well as destructor in public part because you have to call uh, these constructor and destructors outside the class in main function. Fifth point says both cannot return any value. So uh, constructor as well as destructor can't return any value. So you can't use uh, any return type, not even void. So after similarities, uh, let's focus upon differences between constructor and destructor. So total five, five points are available here. First point says constructor is used to initialize objects when uh, they are created while destructors are used to destroy an object when is, it goes out of scope. So constructor is creator and destructor is destroyer. So, second point says constructor and destructor both have same name as their class but to distinguish them tilde sign is prefixed with destructor third point says we can pass arguments in construct constructors but we cannot pass arguments in destructor so uh, there can be more than one constructors but destructor can be only one because of this uh, point fourth point says we can overload constructors while destructor overloading is not possible fifth point says constructor can not be virtual while destructor can be virtual. So this point you will be able to understand when you are going to uh, study about inheritance and virtual functions. So this is all about similarities and differences between constructors and destructor. You can learn these points for your exam or uh, interview purposes. Thank you for watching this video.